hello everyone you are welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will continue to show you how you can use the auto lips program for detailing of structural rc member in the last video i showed you how you can use the program to detail a column section such as we have it here and in this video i will proceed to show you how you can create a table like this and then make your column sections so you can have um, you know a detail like this a detail like this you know where you have more than one link and then you can have a circular link to you can have you know things like this so how are you going to do this that is what i'm going to show you so if you are here for the first time on my channel make sure you give it a subscription and if you already think you enjoyed the video you can give it a like so let's just um start as soon as possible i will show you how you can create the table to create the table all you just need to come is come to the tool palette here and you can see table column the table is specifically for the column section okay so you have to click on the table and then you drop it anywhere like this okay so you have eight cells automatically you have eight cells you can see one two three four all right so now let me draw the first column section here i have a column here right the column in this story is it okay is an 0.3 meter which is 300 column so i will have a column of 300 here so to do that you can just come here you can see r column so this r column is when you have a rectangular column r stands for rectangle okay then c c column that's your circular column okay now i need a rectangular column so just click on rectangular column then it will ask you to specify the limit points okay so the limit point simply means this beginning point and this other end point okay now it is asking me for the width of the column it is an 0 0.3 by 0 0.3 meter column as i've said so 0 0.3 by 0 0.3 which is 300 by 300 mm so click on ok then automatically it will draw the um the concrete section and the stirrup now you are left with the river now it's asking me what my number of bar one is what is bar one bar one simply means the the the, the longitudinal bars the main bars okay so in this particular um river i have four numbers okay so you insert four number of bars four and what's the diameter everything is um everything is 16 mm right 16 mm and then you click on okay or enter i mean now it's asking me for number two number two simply means if you have any river let's say a river at this point okay or a river at this point so i do not have i just need rebars at the four corners okay so you see this is zero and then you click on enter now it will ask you number of bars in the x direction you know i inserted four numbers okay but it wants to know how the numbers are arranged in the x direction okay so it is two at the top two at the bottom so you say two okay it's two numbers and then you say enter then automatically it will put it like this then you can come down here okay you see at this point you see l1 l1 simply means the label okay so it will label your beam so this you are seeing c that's the you know the section of the column and here it will label it so now the label you can see the this is the section of the column which is 0 0.3 by 0 0.3 and then this other label here that is your reinforcement which is 4y16 okay and then you know of course if you want to change this to y it is as simple as this okay so and then your link okay you see your link it will tell you that okay your link is y8 and then it is at the spacing of um 200 mm okay so you can do as you as you like let's say links okay so at least it will be well known like this so this is how you go about having a cross section for your for your column now we can move ahead and do more what if it is a, a link that you have you know you can have a, a big column where you'll be having like two links inside okay you have a bigger link outside and you have a smaller in, uh, link inside so how do you get that let's try to have the same thing like that so come to your rectangular column once more and then you pick the beginning point here and then you pick the um end point here okay now it's asking me for the width of the column i want to make the width to be 0. Point, let's say 0. 0.3 okay and then the column heights let's make that to be 0. Point, let's say 6 okay so i have something like this okay this is my column now it is asking me for number of bars okay number of bars uh, which is number of bar one i'll make my bar one to be six because i want to have three at the top here and three at the bottom so i'll say my bar one is six so click on enter what's the diameter i want the diameter to be 20 mm 
now it's asking me for my bar two bar two are the no are the bars that will be inside okay the bar that will not be at the edges you know you have like three bar here three bar here so all that bars you'll be having here is what is regarded as bar two so my bar two this time around i'll make it to be four and then the diameter let me make the diameter to be 16 mm and then enter now it's asking me for the number of bars in the x direction what it is asking me here is basically the number of bars which is the main bar not the um the bar two it is the bar one so you put three numbers and then enter then automatically it will be like this and you can see at the top you have three numbers and at the bottom here you have three numbers all together you have six number of bar one and then you can see your bar two it is four numbers so it will arrange them two here two here okay but normally you might have your bars like this for your column but you know you might still decide to have another link inside so to have another link inside how will you go about it just come to your stirrup here okay so when you click the syrup then it will ask you to select center one so you select here okay the center two should be here okay don't pick here for your center two pick this point okay so when you do that automatically to understand this and create your link like this okay so you'll be able to create um this kind of link and then you are good to go so what about a circular column you can do the same thing for a circular column all you just need to do is pick the column circular column okay then you pick the beginning points and then you pick the end points all right then it's asking for the diameter of the column let the diameter be equivalent to 0 0.45 then enter this is a circular column okay so your design the minimum um the minimum number for a circular column should be eight okay you know when you have this um a rectangular column or a square column the minimum is four so for this it should be eight at least so you have eight i'll put eight numbers and then diameter let me just use 16 mm and then boom then you have it like this so this is your um your column and then you can see the um the details here so you can just go ahead and have more columns the label will automatically appear at the bottom in as much you create this table okay so the table is specifically for the column as i have as i have said all right so this will be the end of this um video on how you can create your column section with a table like this that's a column legend okay so you can have um, a column legend like this if you are interested in getting the program you can contact me in the details that i will provide in the uh, description of the video and now that you've watched the video to the end i believe you like the video so if you did like the video make sure you click the like button on this video and if you haven't subscribed kindly give my channel a subscription thank you for watching